Hey guys, Swisty10000 coming at you again with another tutorial. It occurred to me after I made the first Gary's Mod tutorial that I didn't pick a complex enough character. I've gotten a couple messages, I had a couple friends tell me, hey, uh, why didn't you pick a character with more textures on it? So I did. I went and got Shrek. Now he's only got two. It's not that complex, but in the uh, honor of layers, I thought it would be pretty funny to do Shrek. This should still apply to any model with multiple textures, but what I'm about to show you, so that's why I'm not too worried about the fact that it's only two. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and open a new Blender scene. I'm going to delete the light so we don't have to deal with weird lighting. File, Import, SMB. Let me go to my Shrek. As an onion does, Shrek has many layers, many being two, for this exact model. So what you do, to start out to figure out uh, kind of like which layers go to what, just right click the model. Once you've right clicked the model, hit tab. Go and open up a new window like we did last time, and we're going to open up UV Image Editor. Go down to the bottom right and hit open. And highlight all of your textures that you extracted for your model. Hit open image. All right, now we are good to start doing this. Once you've hit tab and you have your character in like a wireframe mode, go over here to this black and orange ball. All these materials right here, these are vertices that need to be assigned different uh, materials. So the way we do that is we hit select, and that has now selected all vertices that need Shrek's body. You go down to your textures and you match Shrek body. And let me switch to textured mode real quick. Make sure you switch. There we go. Shrek now has clothes on. Pretty important. Go ahead and hit tab. Switch back. We need to get body two. First hit deselect on the first uh, item that you had selected. Or you can go into the 3D space and hit A to unselect everything. Select Shrek body two. Or whatever your texture is. Probably not Shrek body two. Let's figure out what these are. These look like they're probably the eyelashes. Um, which I believe is in the regular Shrek body texture. Yep, those are eyelashes. He should have eyelashes now. Um, let's, yeah, let's go look. Yep, he does, right there, he's got some eyelashes. So, in some instances, you'll have multiple texture, or multiple vertices that require the same texture. That's kind of up to you to figure out. It's kind of difficult, um, for anything to be straightforward, because most of these places just recycle and reassign all these vertices to the same texture to save room. It's pretty smart. It's insane that the stuff you'll see sometimes, you'll be like, oh, that's stored there, and it'll be like really tiny. The tiniest detail. I have this eyeball PNG. I don't think that's the right eyeball, so I got this other one too. I still don't think that's right. I think it might be uh, in the head, like right here. I got an eyeball right there. So, so this is one of the instances I was talking about. We have a right eyeball and a left eyeball, but I'm not going to go and reassign uh, that. First select right eyeball. If it's not already highlighted, hit A. Click left eyeball. Hit select, hit A. Now we should have control of both eyeballs. We need to go down to Shrek body. Nope, oh, that's the wrong texture. Sorry about that. Shrek head. Go down to Shrek head. Shrink it down, shrink it down. Hold, hit G. And you'll move the vertices over the eyeball. Now, this isn't recommended. If you have something more, uh, more streamlined than this, go for it. But I'm recycling the textures. It's VR chat. It's Shrek. Nobody cares that much. But let's just say, for instance, if you did want to assign it to it, probably its correct, uh, its correct texture, it would be this. I think it's transparent, so it might not be. That might be some details. And so would that, because it's also transparent. But for now, we're just going to do this. We're just going to make their eyeballs a texture rather than an actual object. But look at those beautiful eyes. That turned out perfect. If you want to be funny, let's just add a little humor in here. Oh, jeez, that is somewhat terrifying. He can look around. And you can, like, shrink it and make his eyes, like, really big. Or, like, really, like, he's going to kill you, Tiny. But, yeah. It's fun to mess with uh, Blender models sometimes. 
Once you do that, just go to UV Edit, hit A, go into your 3D space, hit A, and deselect everything. And then go down to Shrek Head, hit Select. Look for the Shrek Head texture. And there it is. Now you think, why aren't we moving the UV wrapping or the UV unwrapping over the texture? The answer is, I don't really know why it just works. You can though, and nothing really changes. For a second it will. And then you'll be brought right back. Oh yeah, if you really want to be terrifying, you could do that. Oh yeah, look at that. But, since it did work, why would you fix it? something that is not broken? Oh, now the eyes are huge. Yeah, as you can see, I somehow managed to make one eye tiny and one eye big, but that shouldn't happen as long as you don't mess with your materials like I did. As you can see, th sometimes there are instances where we have more complex textures over here, and uh, should have probably picked it a little bit better of a model for the tutorial. But yeah, I believe that's it. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit a like and subscribe for me. And again, if you have any questions, I will answer them in the comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.